Right boys, uh, 3.2, you need to choose one of these three principles. All right, so either anatomy, biomechanics, or skill learning. So you've chosen one. And basically what you need to do is describe what you've done, how you've used it, and use a range of examples. You need to make sure you get lots of examples from your training program and also from that final eight minute swim because that's the test of whether you've been able to make the changes long term and what effect it had on that eight minute swim. For example, here's skill learning. You could start talking about the method of learning, how you learnt the new skills. So we taught you using whole part whole. Have you used something different? What other types of uh, skill learning have you had? What feedback did you get from fellow swimmers, from your classmates, from any video research you did, from your teacher? Uh, knowledge of results, how has that helped you? Number of strokes per length, the times that you're swimming on, uh, your performance as it improves. Stage of learning, have you managed to progress from being uh, verbal cognitive to associative or from associative through to the autonomous stage? Most importantly probably as well is the implementation into the final skill. That final skill is the eight minute swim. As you get tired, have you regressed in some of those areas or have you been able to maintain that? For example, does your stroke length go up from, or stroke count go up from 20 strokes per length to 33 as you get tired? That would show it's not working. Examples, really, really important. Final effect on the eight minute program and has this helped you improve?